And welcome, one and all, to Javi Unboxed, another CNC episode with our buddy Russ. Hey, Russ, how's it going? All right, how's it going, fellas? Everything good. Everything good. Let's see. Uh, good evening, Mako. Good to see you. Good to see you, Chris Hendrick. Well, y'all tell him when he comes back. Not that box. That button. Not that button. You know, I'm here swiping and swiping and swiping, <laughs> and when I swipe left on the mouse, it 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 it's like the backspace key. It goes to the previous ah. screen, so it completely kicks me off of the thing. <laughs> Not that button. So anyway, that's what I get for swiping like crazy. Oh right, well, never never swipe left. <laughs> well. That's, Thou shalt I, not I, swipe I, at all. That, that, that <laughs> if, if you never swipe left, you're going to get stuck with some really, really rotten matches. <laughs> but anyway. Mm. Mm. Well, folks, um, another wonderful episode. And tonight, um, let me see what I got on my menu. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a couple of things. Uh, let's see here. One of the things that I wanted to do is uh, uh, some people call it a pot critter. Some people call it a pot guard. I don't know if you uh, if you've ever uh, seen anything like that, but let's let's. Uh, it's basically it's a uh, it's nothing more than a little piece of wood that you stick in your uh, in your pot. Uh, on the on the on the on the side of the pot, and it holds the lid open. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but uh, whenever I'm um, whenever I'm uh, boiling water spaghetti for spaghetti or potatoes or or whatever, um, pouring a bunch of uh, spaghetti in there, pouring a bunch of potatoes, rice, mm -hmm. it, it, it the starch just tends to. Let's put it this way: when the lid is on, it makes a mess. Yep. It makes a mess. And you don't want the lid to be completely off either. So what I like, you know, I, I try to crack, you know, and usually you could just tilt the lid halfway, but sometimes, you know, people find that difficult. Well, this is a nice handy dandy little, little thing. And uh, good to see you, Kevin. Good to see you, Paul. Good to see you guys dropping in there. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, mm -hmm. do the share screen. So that'll be the first thing that I do. Let's, uh, let's see here. Share. And... Boom. Let's see. There we go. So let's um, let's go ahead and start and create a new file. This is going to be relatively quick. Now, what we want to do is, uh, I guess, a uh, convenient thing would be using, say, quarter inch uh, thick ply or, or quarter inch thick wood of some sort. So we'll just leave it at a quarter inch here. And uh, let's just go ahead and do, uh, I don't know, let's, let's do a porcupine, you know, something, something stupid, but let's do a porcupine. All right. So again, we're going to go into our, uh, we're going to do our, our wonderful. Okay. So uh, I don't know. I, I always like, you know, look at my, uh, I guess, uh, three inches is a good diameter. So let's do a, a three inch diameter hole here or whatever. And we're going to center it at, uh, just so I make it easy on myself. Six, six. Well, that's way up there. And there we go. All right. So we start off with, with one of these things. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a, a few notches. Um, hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and do this, this, uh, this, and uh, I don't have to join it at the end. All right. So there it is. I just made a little kind of a triangle, really messy looking, but you know, we don't really need much here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do one of those wonderful offsets that we like to do circular copy. We're going to make, uh, let's see, let's try a step angle. Uh, actually, let's, let's try a total angle of 360 
and we're going to make, I don't know, let's make 14. See how, see how it comes. Uh, rotational center six, six, because that's the center of our circle. Let's do a quick copy and see what that, Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Everyone and every once in a while, you get lucky guys. Every once in a while you get lucky. I mean, obviously, uh, well here, let me undo this. Let me, let me do, uh, let's see what happens if we do, uh, 15. I thought it was one too many, my gosh, you were dead on. No, nope, look at that. Look, 15 is good too. 15 is good too. Let's undo that. Let's do 16. How about 16? Huh? Oh yeah. Just about perfect. Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. You, you, I mean, you never know until you try it. Right folks. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to, uh, I am going to erase these. <laughs> I'm going to erase these. Um, and we're going to take, uh, our little line tool and we'll draw a line from, uh, we'll draw it straight from the side here from whatever, uh, here down to here, straight down across. We'll make a little bit of a nose and, uh, and you know what? I'm going to make a curve up here. So, well, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it into a curve. So I'll just go click here, click here. I shouldn't have clicked that deep inside. I'll move that now. All right. So there's, I, it, it looks like a boot. Yes, I know. It looks like a boot with a star, with a sun in it. But, uh, you know, what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? We'll find out. We'll find out right now here. Let's let's move this kind of straight down. Let's move this over here. We're going to turn this one smooth, so we'll hit the S key, bam. And this one also, bam. And uh, well, might as well smooth these out. All right, so there we go. And we're going to do a little square right about where we want, uh, well, roughly center. But you know, yeah, this is a there's a good square. Now remember, your square has got to be roughly the size of the uh, roughly the size of the lid, and uh, we could have it flat if you want, or you could do what I'm about to do, which is get a little uh, put a a little curve on it. Very hang on, very lousy curve I put. Hang on, let me zoom in here, and. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll do it this way. I'll do it with a circle. Ooh, someone's uh Yep, that's the wife. Someone's having a coughing up a lung over there. <laughs> 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 mm. All right, so we have all our pieces in place. All right. Uh for uh, I know it doesn't look like a porcupine at all, but bear with us for well, it looks a little like a porcupine. So we'll put a little eye here. All right. Now we will start uh, chopping off our, our little, you know, we'll take this off. We'll take this off. We'll take this, 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 and this off. Uh, it's beginning to look like a porcupine now. Now, the only thing that I don't like is I want this to be, um, let me rotate it a little. I, I, I kind of want it to uh, uh, rotate it there, move it here. Same thing with this one. We'll rotate it. Oop, that, that's a worst rotation I ever saw. Oh, because it's on there. Okay. Sorry. I'll do that. Uh, here's the rotation. All right. Oh, and I made it too small. Hang on. Uh, whatever okay and then we'll uh we'll do that there we'll do a copy and paste and we'll move another one down here well there we go and of course let's clean it up we'll go down here and chop 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 oops wrong one yeah that's what i say <laughs> crap indeed all right, and then uh, you know we'll get some rid of some of these things. Uh oh, you better see if we can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This one's got a. 
Well, let's see. Let's see. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, uh, let's move this around a little. We'll go back to our node tool. We'll choose this, and we'll uh, just bring that in around there. Is good. And then we'll chop, chop, chop. Oop, not that one. Zoom, chop, chop. And, of course, uh, let's see what else we got. Chop, 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 uh, chop. Paul was saying it's a shame that you can't make something out of that all that bamboo that you cut the other day. Yeah, yeah. I have a a, a buddy. Uh, well, buddy. Uh, my my wife's best friend. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the the in 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 one of my videos and then one of my make room for hobby videos. It shows the uh the uh the bamboo actually cut uh six foot length i cut about 200 pieces for her and she made a fence out of it i mean she had to go through the trouble of staining it making holes and and uh and uh i mean she 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 basically made holes in it stuck wire through it you know i i yeah. suggest i suggested for her to use uh fence wire um and uh as such and you know that works out well all right so we are pretty much on the money here now let's make sure we're uh nothing is um okay so we have our our porcupine how exciting let me make sure uh let me see how, how well, i'm telling you what right now i ain't never seen nothing like it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I am. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's a goofy thing, and uh, you know whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, how about uh, let's let's make a I don't know let's make something similar. Let's make uh, let's duplicate this. Copy. Oop. Copy paste. Oh, hate it when that happens. Copy paste. We'll slide it over to the right here. And um, I don't know. Let's try to make a mouse. Mouse. Uh, let's get rid of. I'm, I'm going to use pieces of it here, but hang on. Close. Choose. That. That. Ah, uh, it doesn't want to do that because it just doesn't. So let's uh -huh. just delete that. Go over here, delete that. All right. And, of course, we could just grab all that and just, hey, not that. <sighs> All right. Um, yeah, we're just using the basic shape over here. Let's uh, let me do, uh, you know, uh, okay. Let, let's just, let's just see if we can use some curves somehow. We'll, um, we'll, we'll do that. And um, and we'll get rid of this and we'll get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this, and uh, we'll we'll figure that one out in a second. All right, so we got. Uh, let's do uh, let's do a curve uh, from here, roughly to uh, here. Yeah, that sounds good. And then we'll ah, just do a couple straight lines. Just just goofing around here. Let's go right from uh, let's go from here to eight. Hey, those are not straight lines. That's not that's straight a... lines. Hey, 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 sorry about that. There we go. That's a straight line. There we go. That to that to. 
Yeah, that sounds good. We'll do that. Um, couple circles, and I promise, uh, folks, it's all gonna make sense. Yeah, it? yeah, it'll it'll make sense. Doesn't look like. <laughs> oh, look, look! Oh, look at this! Oh, oh it's beginning to look like a mouse now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, how about, how about how about how about we'll put an eye here and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! You had me for a minute, man. There, Come on. There's, there's my mouse. Hang on a second. Let me, let me put this eye a little bit lower here. Yeah, see, he's got the two buttons on the top. See there? Yeah, two button mouse. It's a two button mouse. That's right. This is the left <laughs> button and the right button. So in case you need to click on on something, now we'll just uh, trim this, trim this, trim this, trim this, trim this, trim this. Not, not uh -huh. that. Not that. And zoom, zoom, come on, zoom in. There's a little one there. There's a little one there. Nope, that one still is not reacting properly. Let's see. And I'll just stretch that over there. And then cut that, cut that. What else do we have? Uh, uh, there's one piece up there that one needs to be joined. So we shall take this piece, move it over here like so, and then uh, we do the old cut, cut, boonk, boonk. Hmm. Still not. Still not perfect. Uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, but I don't like how it's, uh, let me see, node editing, smooth. Bam. There we go. And I want it, I want I want it completely smooth and stuff. So anyway, there's there's our mouse. There's our mouse. We could actually take these two this these two noses here and uh, there that looks a little more <laughs> more like a mouse, Ooh. sort of. <laughs> well, there's there's our mouse. <laughs> looks like it's about to take a dump in your pot. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so so hey, that works. That works, you know. I'm 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 comfortable with with that you know <laughs> all right so let's take the whole thing i said let's take the whole thing let's reduce it to a decent size whatever and uh let's do i don't know i guess we could do an owl an owl's fairly easy to do i guess um what I'm going to do with, with, with the next one is I'm just going to go. Uh, I'm going to do one of these things. Um, um, let me think. Um, As you can see, it's kind of looking like an owl. I'm trying to mirror it, but there's no way I'm going to get it mirrored correctly. Let's see where am I am there. So let's go there. Let's go there. There. Um. All right. Now what we'll do is uh we'll now now we do the it's it's amazing uh okay it, it kind of looks like an owl but it'll look more like an owl when I do something like this. Now this this is one of the things that I like to do folks is I will take uh, I'm holding the shift key down notice that these selected are in red. Anything that needs a curve, I'm just going to select anything that needs a curve on it. Every everything okay. else is not going to be curved, but these are going to be curved. That one's going to be curved, and uh, these are going to be curved. And then I hit the S key, bam, and then it just curved my owl. Um, That's neat. 
Yeah, yeah, it, it works. Except I don't know. It looks a little too. Does it look too fat? Nah, screw it. <laughs> it's fine. You know. You know. I know. He wasn't, he wasn't hungry. He, he was yeah. fat and happy. Yeah. Actually, what I should do is. Uh, I know what I'll, I'll do. There. I'll just. I'll stretch out the head a little bit. And, uh, you know, go on this side and on this side, there, and on that side, and on that side, whatever. It's a goofy looking owl, but, uh, it's an owl. Um, and then, uh, then we'll do the old, uh, um, here, we'll do a circle here. Well, Mako asked a question. He said, do you mind yeah. if you ask a Mach 3 question? Oh, go right ahead, please. In the future, you don't have to ask if you have to if you want to ask a question. Just go ahead and ask the question. That's that's fine with me. So uh, let me do one of these things. Uh, ding, uh, ding, ding. Almost Felix the Catish, but uh... <laughs> and again, I'm just notice how I really don't care if I have excess lines because. What I'm basically going to do now is use my wonderful little tool, as you guys have seen me do over and over, and cut and cut and cut and zoom in and cut and cut again. So, you know, there's our little there's our little owl looking over to the side. I don't like how this turned out. It's too curved. But uh, so what uh, we can fix that easily by going over here. And uh, straightening that out. There we go. So anyway, um, and perhaps making this a little flatter. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we have our we have our our things are creatures of the night or <laughs> creatures of whatever just weird creatures and uh, and uh, so uh, we'll take this we'll do the old toolpath thing and I'm selecting every single bit because it's uh, oh, just because outside end mill is going to be I'm going to just for the sake of making it look nice, I'm putting in a 16th inch end mill. Select. It's going to go down to 0.25 because if not, it'll cut through the spoil board. Calculate. And uh, let's see. Multiple contours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see. What what are we missing? We're missing the those, those two. So let's go ahead and take this. And we shall close our lines open one all right so so join the vectors already uh hang on and boom and then this one same thing with this one let's see if we have any now uh closed one open none closed one open none all right so back we go to our tool path. We select everything once again, including the eye. Yeah. And uh, or eyes, whatever they make you. And uh, calculate. We did everything. And then uh, we do our reset preview, preview all tool paths. Now, obviously, let me see. Here we go. These are our little uh things that we made you know it's the, the i mean uh, you know these are these are cute little things that uh that they uh they go on a pot and uh they hold open the the um the lid so between here where the pot stands and the here where the lid lays you know mm -hmm. hey it's a convenient little handy dandy thing each week i'm i'm just looking for different uh Different little ideas. Uh, well, Mako just asked his question. Yes. He said, you, uh, you're going to read it or you want me to? 
<laughs> Let's see. Do you mind if I ask? Uh, just, okay, I just uh, here we go. Here we go. Let me let me take a look at it. Um, okay, so I just installed a homing switch. Now, when I touch the tools off and save them in the library, then come back the next day, I start the mill up and home it. The tools that I touched off from the other day are off by a few inches. Why is this? Maybe someone can have an idea. Okay. Um, you've installed homing switches. Now, uh, first of all, uh, I mean, let's first assume, and you know how, you know how, what happens when we assume, but let's, uh, let's, let's first assume that your homing switches are either mechanical or, or optical switches where no matter what they, they're fixed because if, if they move, then, uh, then obviously you're going to have, you're going to have an issue. So there's number one. Uh, that's a reason it may be off. Let's see. Um, you touch the tools off now. Now. You, okay. So you're, you're touching the tools off. So are you, here's, uh, are we talking homing switches or are we touching touch plates? Um, or are you saying that when you re-zero a tool that 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 it's off? Because that will happen. I mean, if you if you um, if you home something at zero zero, and uh, and there's a different size bit, it's uh, you'll have to rehome it. Well, you don't have to rehome it. the The carriage will be centered at zero zero. But if you have, if you're using, for instance, like an XYZ, uh, no, the XYZ is also, uh, they do zero, zero as well, don't they? And they do the center. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's a couple things that it could be. Number one, see, th th I didn't completely understand your question. Um, the tools I touched off from the other day are off by a few inches. Um, I mean, that could be a number of reasons. First and foremost, make sure your couplers are not slipping and, 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 and all that. Uh, Cause that would be an issue. If you turn off your machine and you turn it back on, then you're, uh, you're going to have to rehome everything because, um even even this machine which is like super precise the cam master when i shut it off and turn it back on the next day even though it keeps the position and and it it's just that that little beginning uh, as soon as you turn it on it, it powers up and it goes junk that slight little movement could be as much as you know uh, depending on the machine it could be anywhere between uh you know a few thou and a quarter inch or more that thing just jerking uh, just enough. So uh, perhaps you might want to uh, explain a little more in detail what you meant, what you meant by that. See, cause I, you, you installed homing switches and when you touch tools off, so that's not a homing switch. That's a, that's a, um, are you talking homing or are you talking uh, touch touch plate? That that that's where I got confused. Yeah, because I was thinking touch plate when he first said it, and he saved that figure in the tool library. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not making a whole lot of sense to me. How it was how it was right said exactly? And uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and go to the next project here while you're uh, formulating uh, the the. Uh, explanation and let's see uh my next one that i want to do is this one's going to be quite simple and you could actually make this out of uh, any plywood or anything like that we're going to make uh, i saw this uh, on on one of the you know where i get a lot of my ideas is on pinterest and stuff and um and what it is is uh basically it's a key holder uh now a lot of you guys okay so let's let's just go dive straight into it let me um uh, let me go ahead and uh, start that up here all right so this time we're going to work with a half inch piece of uh 
uh, plywood or something or other. Oh, hang on a second. This is new. Oh, cancel. Ah. Now I know what I did. Hang on. Uh, save new. There we go. That's what I want. And half inch. All right. So let's try to, uh, let's see. We're going to make, since it's for your house, we'll do something simple. Like here's a, here's a nice uh, big square. And uh, we're going to do a nice little uh, triangle. Uh, let's see. Uh, where would the, uh, is a polygon tool with three sides. Uh, oh, yeah, let me see. Uh, inner radius percentage. Let me see. What happens when it's z when it's one? It's very tiny. When it's 50, it is okay. 50 it is. All right, close that. There. We we made our we made our triangle. <laughs> Such as it is. All right, folks. There is our house. And I'm gonna make the house just a little bit don't give it that much of a pitch <laughs> all right we have our house how exciting now of course just just go ahead and wipe this out in the middle with the oh by the way folks if you if you guys have been click 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 on every line if you have like i did just now have a couple lines that you want to get rid of in a row all you got to do is just hold down the button and drag the scissor across the lines and it will remove the lines as you're dragging through them. Just obviously don't remove the lines you need. And okay, so here we go. Now, let me go look real quickly on the internet and uh, let, me, let me pop up a window and get a figure of a car. So, uh, you know, car, um, clip art. What the heck? I don't know what it's doing over here, but I don't really care. All right. So oh, there's a perfect uh, figure of a car here. All right. So let's go ahead and drag this. Hang on a second. Let's drag this to our desktop. Okay, we've dragged it to our desktop, close that, go back to here, and now we shall import it. Import bitmap. And uh, I forgot what it was called. Hang on a second. iStock photo? Yep, that's it. Okay, so we got a car. So let's uh, make it the right size. That's a little too big. Um, let's see what I want to do with this. Okay, I want to it, put it right from here. Um, yeah, I know what I want to do. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, that, that's roughly what i want okay now uh we're gonna zoom in we're gonna take our our uh, wonderful little uh, bitmap trace tool because we're gonna be working with this thing so bit trace black and white and just preview and go all right, we have our we have our wonderful things, and I'm just going to get rid of the car because we don't need that anymore. Now, um, I don't really need that much detail. I don't need the the handles. Let me uh, ungroup everything. All right, so we'll get rid of these. Oh, great, we'll get rid of these handles. We'll get rid of, uh, actually, let's just go ahead and zoom into here. Let's, um, let's go ahead and uh, 
connect this to there, connect this to there, and we'll just get rid of all of this. All right, now we'll do the same thing on the right. We shall, our little node tool, grab the node, and just overlap that thing, grab this one, overlap this thing, and then we'll take our little erase tool and erase all these things. Ooh, that's ugly. Not that one. <laughs> Can't erase that. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, zip there. Done. All right, good enough. Good enough for government work. All right, so we have our car. Uh, let's see what we want to do. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff in the middle here. Oops, not the rest of that. God, why did it do that? Okay, boom. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of all of this. And let's get rid of this. And uh, this wonderful thing here will uh, just make it bigger. And we'll make it part of the wheel here. And uh, I'll just copy and paste it and do the same. Just move it over to the back. And get rid of that middle one. Now, we shall take all three of these pieces and uh, we shall do the addition thing. And uh, apparently, there's some mess in the middle that I'll just get rid of. So, we have ourselves a car, a very simple, standard car. Uh, now, one thing we I'd like to do is the following. Uh, first of all, I want to I want to move this car so the wheels are just past the uh, the bottom of the house, but not too far past. Then I'll take this and I'll go copy, and I'll paste it. And then what I'll do is I'll take the house, holding the shift key. And click one of these. It doesn't matter which one. The outline of the car. And I'll click subtract. Uh, let's see if it did it. Yep. All right. So it actually subtracted the piece. Now, this piece is extra. So you won't notice it just now. But basically, I can actually take this car... And let me move it down. You see how it's uh, the silhouette is inside the car. So, mm -hmm. I mean, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'll take this car and I will just shrink it. Uh, I'll, you know, the right way to do it is is it doesn't matter which what the right way to do it is. Just I'll just take this outline and I will take this and and oh, sorry, I'll take the um, the offset inwards and tell it to go 0 0.05 uh, way too much let's try 0 0.005 or yeah mm, too little <laughs> okay 0 0.01 we'll do 0 0.01 there we go that's that's a good offset and now we'll take our, our original one and we'll just get rid of that. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically, you know what? We don't. We don't, you don't have to see it. I'll, I'll just take this out of here. Okay, there is our shape. Here is our car. Uh, and uh, now I'm not going to go on. Well, I, I, I'll do another couple shapes, but basically, uh, at this point now, you can either take and uh, make a hole in the middle here for a key ring or you can what is this stupid thing doing in the middle of the way um, or you can just attach the key ring right to the tire there so now you have you have your keys whichever any way you want it on this thing now what I would do with this is the following um, see I would actually 
Yeah, this is where I made a mistake, but oh well. Let me copy, paste this, and uh, let me do one of these things. Hang on. Let me send this. Move to layer, new layer, layer two. Okay. All right. Let me hide layer two. Okay, here's what I want to do with this. Uh, I need to close this off, and I'll show you why I'm going to do that now. Um, uh, let's get rid of all these. Hey, not what I wanted to do. There we go. Undo that. And uh, good. Delete. Bam. Okay. Now I made a straight. It's back to my straight line. And the reason, and I want to get rid of this one too. Okay. So the reason I put the house back the way it was is the following. So now I'll, I'll bring the layers back here. What I actually want to do is. I want to take the house and I want to profile the house. So uh, this this will be the last step, by the way, not the first. So I'm doing it in backward order, but cut depth will be uh, point, point 0.5 on the outside. Calculate, actually. Uh, yeah. And then uh, go back to this. Now with this one, I will do... A um, actually, I'll do the same thing with this one. Hang on, just add that and and now, last but not least, we will take our other layer here and we shall. Let's hide everything else. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete these. See what we got there. Okay, good. Yeah, that's roughly it. Let me just see if I can. No, that that's perfect. Okay, so there is our. Now, now what I'm going to do with this profile is we're going to do the old um, uh, pocket tool path, and we're going to do half an inch, uh, rather 0.25 cut depth. All right, so we've got everything here. Let's go ahead and reset and preview all toolpaths, show you what I did. All right. I have cut. Uh, now, you mount your, you create your design on your, on your houses, however you want it. Put a few car things here. Put a little man and a woman. Uh, or, or you can each actually put a, a little uh, shape of a, of a woman or a man here, and I'll show that now for you. And uh, basically this down here, hang on, um, this, uh, this car here, sands, windows, and doors, uh, this is your, you know, this is your fob for your keychain. And this thing slips right into here. And it just hangs right there. Now, if, if you want to use a thicker piece of wood or if you want to go all the way through, that's your call. You know, you can always do that. And, uh, and again, the only other thing that I would suggest here is, is add a few more, add a few more, uh, um, a man, a woman, you can even, uh, uh, you know, put some text up here. Um, dad, you know, 
and uh, that's a little too high. It's a, oh yeah, let me. Let's put that up here. Let's do the old V carve. Uh, actually, before I do the V carve, let's do one of these things. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we'll go copy, paste, and paste. And... What are you doing, you stupid? Oh, that's because probably I got this thing open. That's not it. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, we'll call this one <sighs> Mom. And we'll call this one I don't know. Uh, yeah, name you want. Name it whatever you want. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, fish. <laughs> Because guests smell after three days, so <laughs> <laughs> so wh whatever you know, you you could uh, you could do anything you want now, and then uh, I would take and I'd put a little. Uh, you can go up here and put whatever you like. Uh, put uh, here. Let's do one of these. Eh, copy, paste. Uh, over here. And uh, uh da, 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 the zigzag, and we'll do this, this, this. We'll do our, our famous heart. <laughs> there you go. Zip. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that easy to make a heart, folks. It's just that easy. Whatever. You know, uh, uh, you know make a heart. Uh, hang on, there's a little thing that we got to get rid of in there that took and uh over there too Dunk. okay whatever uh you can make a heart you can uh or, or uh if if you if uh let's say you're in a church okay so let's, 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 let's make a steeple there you are there you go a little off uh, there we go, and uh, take both of these, unite them, and, uh, you know, take both of these and unite them, whatever. Um, yeah, let me not do that just yet. Okay, so our profile, let's see, here's our profile. We'll take and we'll do this to it and calculate. We'll take... Uh, we still need the these three, and we'll do the old uh, V carve. That'll be fine. Calculate done, and then um, we'll do the old. Uh, we haven't done these yet, so let's see. The profile. We'll take these pieces as well. Calculate and then uh, pocket one. Let's do these two. Calculate. Okay, we should be good. So reset preview, preview all tool paths. Boom, 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 boom. We have our dad, mom, and fish. And uh, you could just hang your little house there. It's all nice and neat. And there you go. Uh, so, I mean, these things that they, they dangle with keychains and uh, you know and mm -hmm. your neighbor fish. So from now on, whenever you have a neighbor, just call him fish. Yeah. And if he stays more than two three days, he'll smell like one. And uh, that's about it. So let's say uh, keychain. Well, Mako Mako uh, answered his question, or he came back with more information. Ah. He said uh, he has installed homing switches on his CNC, and after sending the machine home, now he wants to save tools in the library, and he uses a three-inch block uh, to touch off with. But when he comes back and tries to, I, I think, use them the next day, uh, they're off a few inches. 
you, know, you you put the uh, the block on top of the homing thing to do them to touch off the machine home. Still, still, com- uh, still not completely clear. Um, I've never seen uh, anybody. Now it may not be, but uh, I, I've not heard of anybody taking the tools and saving them in the tool library with it with an offset because. Normally, you would just go pick up a tool and and you would do it right then and and use it. I've never seen anybody have it stored. If that that's well, what I'm thinking, you never want to you never want to store it with an offset because that's always going to change. It's going to change. You don't put the bit in there the same distance every time for one. Yeah, that's 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 the thing. If you're if you're let me see if okay. So he installed homing switches after sending his machine home now. He'd like to save tools in the library and uses a, um, yeah, if you, if you have fi- exactly what Hendrix said, if you have fixed holsters that are exactly in a position, mm-hmm. then you could save the, uh, the tools there. But, um, but yeah, I mean, um, basically whenever you shut off your machine, anytime you turn off your machine, but think of it this way. Anytime you turn off your machine, anytime you change a bit, you have to rehome mm-hmm. every time. Because when you when you turn off your machine, guaranteed it's not going to be exactly in the in the in the same spot. Very rare. Um if you if you take a piece off the spoil board and put it back on, not gonna be in the same spot. I mean, obviously, if you have a jig, that's one thing. If you have a jig on your on your machine and you lock it in place, and then you do one one item, don't turn off your machine, take off the piece, put a new piece exactly where the the jig went, then that's that's something. But if you are, and and you could save all, you you could save your, you could you could save everything you want. You could save your your paths, not a problem. But every time you run it, it has to be homed uh, or or it has to be calibrated, basically, because uh, it's well, all it's all relative. It's all, even even hmm. this machine. This machine is fully practically fully automatic. Every time it starts, it automatically homes. Uh, it yeah. automatically touch plates. You know. Well, that's what I was going to say. Even the automatic tool changers, they they home, they automatically touch it off. They home and they touch they don't off. they don't have a fixed in their vocabulary. Yep, yep, absolutely, so. absolutely. Yeah, because uh, you have to you have to reference from somewhere, no matter what. Right. Um, that's the one thing that with CNC is probably one of the most difficult things to learn. I mean. Here, my my laser, my laser engraver, for instance, the laser engraver I have, and in fact the uh, the mini engraver, the the this ten thousand dollar little tiny precision engraver that I have, the M forty, um, both of those have a fixed zero zero. They don't they don't. Uh, you could put an offset if you wanted. But they have a zero zero. Both those machines, when you turn them on, they'll go click, 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 and they'll they'll always be in the same position. But no matter what, as soon, when you turn them on, they will they will uh, they will recalibrate themselves. It's just, it's nice to have it recalibrated automatically. This one, it's just mm-hmm. one button, no big deal. But um, you have to do it every time. Um, and the laser, as far as the laser is concerned, um, whenever with the laser, it, uh, because of the distance, the focal length, it depend depending on how your laser is configured and which lens you're using, you could either have a, you know, a lens that's got to be a quarter inch off or two two centimeters off or or two inches depending on the depending on the focal length of the lens it's got to be a very precise distance away 
from the from what you're cutting or engraving. And uh, so it will go down, and I have an automatic uh, little lever that's calibrated, and it'll go a little plunger, and it'll come right back up. Chris was telling Mako that he needs to tell the machine the distance from the three-inch block to, to uh, where his Z0 is. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's – it's. Uh, I mean, it's like I, I, I want to say – I want to say use your common sense, but this one's not that easy. This this is a, something that a lot of people have difficulty with, is uh, the relative distances. You have a zero zero, you have a machine zero zero, you have your you have your calibrated. Uh, I mean, you have when you turn on the machine, you have first of all what it thinks zero zero is, which could be anywhere depending mm -hmm. on your machine. Some machines, it's, it's a random number. If you don't reset it, it'll go everywhere. Or it might be the last zero, zero that you set. It depends on the machine and how you have it set up. Or it could be wherever the gantry is, wherever the, 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 the router tip is, that's your new zero, zero when you turn it on. So like I said, it depends on the machine. So, yeah, so there's one that's the the where the machine thinks zero zero is. Then you have a machine zero zero where some of them are hardwired into the machine. And no matter what, it's you know, but uh, yeah, it's 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 something that you gotta you gotta fiddle around with. Um, yeah, well. <laughs> folks that's pretty much it for the for the night uh next week i will uh I'll come up with something else and uh, some other neat little projects for you guys and uh and we'll do that in uh in about uh one hour is the uh retro show tonight we're going to be talking about you're welcome to join us uh, as always russ um we're going to be talking about going to the movies the theaters i mean what what I mean, you know, stuff like drive-ins, stuff yes, like, uh, stuff like, uh, you know, what do you remember from when you were a kid going to the movies? That's very different from now. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, you know, I can remember a lot of, a lot of different things, a lot of different movie theaters. You know, and uh, and uh, you know, back in the days when you used to have ushers, and then. Now, I mean, you're lucky to have one person in the theater at all. <laughs> True, know? and you know the, the the usher. Huh? There's a there's the the guy can't carry. There's there's one guy at the money uh station. I mean, uh, one guy taking the tickets, and most of that's automated now. One guy taking the tickets. You got one guy uh taking the money for the popcorn and all that. Maybe two, and then you got the one guy that's taking your stub. And sometimes the popcorn guy and the stub guy is the same guy. Same guy. And so good luck trying to find somebody else. <laughs> you know, in some of those theaters, well, you know, there's, there's, uh, when will they clean? Uh, once a week. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. But uh, yeah, we had some, we had some good times uh, in my youth. I got some stories. So I'll see you guys <laughs> in about an hour or so. Same bat time, same bat channel at 10 o'clock tonight uh, for the retro show. Have a wonderful evening, everybody, and uh, see you all next week. Night Good night, all. everybody.